Hi. Um, I'm going to show you this short video of using your scraps to make bookmarks. You can make these bookmarks just for yourself or they'd be a nice gift to give away. They're real fast. These are just three inch squares that I sewed together. I put three together. These are two. A set of... And so... I'm using my scraps. I had some left over. I even made some of the three inch squares because I was making another project. But I have these left over. And so I'm just gonna do it real fast. I use this, this is left over. You can use the, um, I forgot what the other stuff's called, but you can iron it on to make it stiff. Or I'm using this because I had these strips left over from a, some bags I made. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. I sewed my three squares with quarter inch seams and I ironed them. I've already ironed them to go one way. It doesn't matter which way. And so I'm gonna put the strip here and then fabric facing up and another one facing down but first if you want to you can use lace or if you have some leftover lace you can use this for your book put it in your you know, the hangout I've made some already but I haven't finished them I still have to um, sew this side together but I put my lace in here like that I even have this lace I got I keep lace for from um, like when I buy the jelly rolls and they kept wrap, come wrapped in ribbon you know just anytime you can save some lace just hold it for a project but I've used I'm using this lace and I'm putting it on top and I'm letting it come out a little bit on top for when I sew it okay so then the lace goes here you don't have to use it if you don't want to. And then I'll add this other strip face down. So they're facing each other, right sides together. Put the edges together. And then I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam. I've already got these started too. I've already put these together. I just, um, using the same I'm starting with the same thread that I've finished that last one on they're all still connected but I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam all the way around except I'll show you what I do okay so here's my quarter inch seam I'll speed up my quarter inch to the edge quarter inch and I'm going to hold these together make sure my edges are together my lace is right in the middle I'm holding these together got my strip here from the end I'm gonna take these off my other ones off I started I read a lot and I have a lot of books so I need some bookmarks okay quarter inch now I'm gonna stop right here and then I'm gonna start back here I'm gonna leave this opening here for flipping it inside out back right side out and then go back and forth a couple times 
move up a little bit, give enough room to pull, pull it back right side out. Back and forth a couple times. There we go. And then I'll just cut this off. You can pin it all together if you want to, but I don't, I didn't see any, for me, I didn't need to, um, to pin it together. I don't use pins that much. Okay, so don't worry about this. Just try not to stretch it because you'll sew it together. At the end, you can sew it together like a quilt. You'll be quilting. So what we're gonna do here is cut off the corners. I put my finger at the at the edge, cut the corners. Get that lace off. And I used my you can use anything, but I have this, my, it's a needle, um, and I'm using knitting needle because that's what I have. So just open it up, pull it out, do the little hole. Push it all through. So I'll use the needle to push the corners out. needle comes out sometimes come out okay there it goes okay so here it is and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron this closed and then iron and then sew along the edges all the way around just at the very edge probably a 1 8 seam and then I will sew across each line here and then we'll hold the padding in the quilt the um the, the padding and and then if you just want to sew just these two that's fine that'll hold it together or you can do, do some decorative stitches on it you know you can go across with some decorative stitch and then zip this way that way however you want to do it you can go straight up and down whatever you want to do but this is a quick bookmark Okay, here's the finished one that I made before. And I used the heat bond, the sewable heat bond on this one. It's thinner. And it, you don't have to hold it like you do this one, but it, you just sew it, iron it onto the fabric and then sew them together. But this one's a little bit stiffer. But I don't, it doesn't matter to me if it's stiffer. I just needed some bookmarks. But these are nice gifts to give to people that like to read. Or if you just have a lot of books that you need, you don't want to keep using, borrowing the bookmark from another book because you already have one marked. So, there you go. And thanks for watching. And please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video.